Et maintenant, j'ai l'honneur, le privilège d'introduire le président de la République, son Excellence, Michel Joseph Martelly, dans son discours de circonstance. Monsieur le Président. Thank you. Please be seated. Honorable President Bill Clinton, Honorable President of the Inter-American Development Bank, Luis Alberto Moreno, my Prime Minister, Minister, Secretaries of State, members of the Presidential Advisory Council, distinguished guests and members of the private sector in Haiti and around the world, Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, welcome to the 2011 Invest in Haiti Forum. For those of you who are visiting Haiti for the first time, I would like to extend a very special welcome. I would also like to thank all of you who have traveled great distances to be here with us today. I would also like to extend my personal thanks on behalf of the people of Haiti to the Inter-American Development Bank and to the Clinton Foundation for your unyielding support and dedication to Haiti. <clears throat> Let me congratulate my dear friend Luis Alberto Moreno at the IDB. In September, you said you would bring 500 investors to Haiti for this forum. You not only delivered on that promise, you exceeded it. On top of that, you have also made an enormous commitment to Haiti's educa educational system by the IDB's recent 50 million education grant. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give President Moreno a big round of applause. And now it's my turn, <laughs> Haiti's turn, to deliver on our promise to make Haiti a great place to do business, and a favorable place to invest. Yes, that is why we are all here. Haiti is a country of promise, a place where investors who want to make a difference can make a difference. By investing in Haiti, you will contribute to our sustainable future, helping to create prosperity for the nation and for our people for generations to come. When I took my oath of office as president of Haiti, I said, we are going to change Haiti. When I addressed the United Nations two months ago, I reiterated my mandate to materialize that change. This investment forum underscores my total commitment to a new vision of Haiti, to spearhead growth by ensuring that our country is an inviting and business-friendly place for international investors. I am personally committed to driving economic growth throughout the country. I intend to deliver on that promise. To do that, we must begin by creating sustainable jobs in both our urban and rural areas through strong partnership between the, between the private and public sectors. As many of you know, decentralization is a critical cornerstone supporting my vision for a new Haiti. 
We want to strengthen and empower our rural communities and create new ones beyond Port-au-Prince. Haiti's rural communities are regions of untapped opportunity for investment. One of the objectives on this forum is to showcase these untapped opportunities with the goal of attracting investments that will accelerate decentralization. At the same time, we have set a target for job creation. We want to create 500,000 jobs over the next 36 months. <laughs> Investment is the catalyst, the fuel, the fuel that will drive my vision into a new reality. There is a role for everyone to play, although it's clear that the private sector is the engine that will fuel job creation. <laughs> Multilaterals such as the IDB are key partners in access to project financing and to fund needed programs in training, education, healthcare, and the like. Foreign governments, our neighboring countries, countries, CARICOM and others have been great partners in financing infrastructure projects and facilitating institutional capacity building. Take the new university in Cape Haitian, slated for early next year. This 30 million institution, which will be fully funded by the Dominican Republic government is a perfect example. With a capacity of 10,000 students, the university will boast 78 classrooms and state-of-the-art facilities in 300,000 square meters of development. By building the new university outside of Port-au-Prince, the institution will not only benefit Haiti's higher educational education as a whole, but in particular, it will bring social services and economic development to the north, thus promoting decentralization. Our role as the government of Haiti is to create a favorable business environment for investors. We have already initiated the actions required to position Haiti more competitively for new market opportunities. Some of these measures, measures include new tax incentives, land reform, and expedited licensing, to name a few. The bottom line is we want investors to profit so Haiti can prosper. Public policy reform is only one part of my strategic plan for the new vision of Haiti. At the heart of this plan lies democratic governance and the consolidation of the rule of law. My political, social, and economic reforms all hinge on effective governance. If dreams are to become reality, if goals are to be achieved, then meaningf meaningful and appropriate action must be taken. <laughs> this forum is about action. Those of you here today will see that our words and promises have substance. Already, there are various multi-million dollars projects underway. A $250 million airport reconstruction project, a $40 million seaport construction, $44 million housing construction project, and many more. The country has an energetic, enterprising, and motivated workforce. 
the Haitian people are hard workers. And let me add, they are enterprising as well as industrious. As you will see this reform, as you will see this afternoon, Haiti has extensive opportunities in the energy sector. We also hold several competitive advantages in the agricultural sector. Mangoes, coffee, and I must add to that that President Clinton is addicted to Haitian coffee. <laughs> Cocoa, essential oils, spices, sisal, and other fruits and vegetables are already being grown for export. Our agricultural sector is already producing good results, exporting $10 million in mangoes, for example. We are encouraging the inflow of new capital and technological innovations to stimulate this sector. Historically, Haiti has been a major exporter to the United States with over $536 million in exports in fiscal year 2010. An example of the opportunity in multilateral trade and underscoring the potential of investing in our deep water ports and our airports. In inviting investments, Haiti has both short-term and long-term goals to address. Our thinking must always focus on the most positive outcomes for the future. In the short term, we must continue to create jobs, sustainable jobs. Jobs are the engine for driving growth, and we must turn the key and start the engine. For the long term, structural reforms are underway in order to ensure that Haiti can be competitive in attracting and sustaining investors. We are diligently working with my Presidential Advisory Council, the CFI, and the international community to build a new business ecosystem that will ensure a socially just, economically free, and politically independent Haitian nation. Over the next two days, you will be introduced to some of the opportunities in every sector of our economy, tourism, apparel, agriculture, infrastructure, and more. And there are ways to making investing in Haiti even more lucrative for each of you here. First, it is critical that the current forms of foreign investment, which are well intended, but not always directed to job creation or sustainability, be replaced with support for priority projects, such as building and modernizing Haiti's infrastructure and energy grid. The industrial park in the Northeast, which will provide 80,000 direct and indirect jobs, is an excellent example of foreign aid that advances Haiti's priority goals for sustainable job creation and development, bringing long-term benefits to all parties. Second, certain foreign trade policies as they relate to Haitian goods, must be renegotiated. <laughs> Securing greater access for goods manufactured in Haiti to other markets in all sector will enhance your investment returns. I stand before you today greatly encouraged and profoundly humbled by your presence, by your enthusiasm, and by your ability to help transform Haiti into a prospering nation. I'm also deeply moved 
when I think of the possibilities that your participation in this forum holds for the Haitian people. I welcome you to join me in carrying out my new vision of Haiti. It is a place where the dignity of work is at hand for all those willing. My new vision of Haiti does not end with reconstruction, but rather begins with renovation. The renovation of Haiti's economic system, which animates the social and political dynamism of democracy. My new vision of Haiti is a land, is a land where justice reigns and integrity abounds. You see, the Haitian people are not looking for handouts, but for a hand up. <laughs> for jobs and work that will restore their dignity. Yeah. Yeah. Haiti is a country with big challenges and big opportunities. As the president of Haiti, I promise to take big steps to manage and support those opportunities. Are you ready to join in? Thank you. Merci de, de vous rasseoir. Et c'est sur les derniers propos du président de la République que nous allons mettre un terme.